Well, because I just sort of think it's the bee's knees of niches. Hey, Gary Baker here with 30minutemarketing.net, where we do more to market your message in less time. And it's not about faster, it's about focus. And one of the things that I've been focused on here lately, well, because I just sort of think it's the bee's knees of niches, is low inside of low content publishing is puzzle books or activity books. In this case, building puzzle activity books all in one with Google Docs. Let me show you what I'm talking about, all right? So as you know, Google Docs is this free, what you used to call word processor, okay? So most people either have a Mac, which they have Keynote, or they have a PC, which most people have Word. Uh, but what if you were on a Chromebook, or what if you didn't have a Microsoft Office license, okay? Well, you could create your very own puzzle book right inside of Google Docs. So, of course, to go to Google Docs, you just go to docs.google.com. I'll leave a link in the description. And you would just use this just like you would any other software, like I said, like Word or Keynote. And you could change the font right there. Uh, you could play around with that font size, make that a 48, center that, give it some color. There you go. All right, move it down a little bit. And say that's the uh, that's the front page, right? Then you just go and you go file, and you're going to download that as a PDF. Because the thing is, when we're doing these puzzle books, here in a second, I'm going to show you how to create uh, mazes, how to create word searches, and also where to find some high-quality coloring book pages that you can get PLR rights to. Okay? So before we do that, turn up the PDF, let's go ahead and add a new page here <clears throat> uh, insert a new image because let's just say we want to add a maze to this okay first thing we would do is we'd go to simply maze crazy which there'll be a link in the description of course so you can pick this up but here you can generate a maze and inside of simply maze crazy you have the option to create mazes and uh, there's this new exper experimental tab which are basically, as new features are added into Simply Maze Crazy, the, the, the maker and the software creator of Simply Maze Craze, Crazy has added a few more options where you can generate solutions, you can change the color solution, you can also see here that you have the complexity, the slider gives you a number now, whereas before it didn't give you a number. So this is constantly being updated. So let's just go ahead and generate a maze real quick. You'll see that maze is black right there. The color it has start and in, it has a start starting point and ending point, and then of course the solution is provided there. So we'll just go ahead and we will download that maze real quick. And once that maze is downloaded, you can see right there maze dash 31C, which is the complexity level. So now you have your maze and it's identified by complexity level, which is a new addition to this, which is really cool. So this is constantly being updated as this was just actually released about three weeks ago. Well, we'll say a month by the time of shooting this video, Friday, June 21st, 2019. So there you'll see that we have the maze created and you can see there it's a transparent PNG. So it's on a black background. So, but what we want to do is we're going to go back to Google Docs and then you're going to just insert that image upload from computer and we are going to grab that maze right there and we will insert that right into our Google Doc. As you can see, you can make that bigger, smaller, whatever. We'll just play with it just a little make it a little bigger so now you have your very own puzzle activity book and of course you could enter some more text right here to spice this up a little bit and say something like solve the maze just for good measure while we're in here messing around with this solve the maze we'll go ahead and we'll cut that and we'll move that down a little bit solve the maze okay so now we're going to take that and again we're going to go back and we're going to be working with PDFs and in a second I'm going to show you those PDFs that we get from the other tool which is Puzzle Book Mastery. 
So we're going to save that as a PDF document. And there you go. Now we have that in a PDF document. As you can see right there, I'll bring that into the screen. You have your first page, your very own puzzle activity book, solve the maze, and then there you have your maze. Okay, so now we have uh, one maze puzzle book. So now we're going to hop over to Puzzle Book Mastery, which again, link in the description to pick this up. And of course, here you have uh, different puzzle types, cryptograms, Sudoku's, word searches. Of course, the word searches, you have to come up with your own file formats. So you have to come up with your own word lists. That's what I'm saying. So as you can see right here, we have, uh, I've already put these in here. And there's a review of Puzzle Book Mastery, which I'll go ahead and I'll put a card up here. And then while I'm thinking of it, I'll also put a, the next card that you see will be for Simply Maze Crazy. It's a review of that as well. So we'll go ahead and we'll generate that and we'll make the puzzles and you'll see that'll output to PDF browser. In this case, we're gonna PDF and zip files and that's gonna download that. So that'll take a second to that, for that to think about it and then it'll download it right there or you'll click to download it and then you'll see that that'll download. And then we'll go back to that and let's, uh, let's go ahead and create a Sudoku puzzle. So we'll just go ahead and create a Sudoku puzzle right here and we'll go ahead and make those Sudoku puzzles. That way, so in, inside of our activity book, we're gonna have mazes, we're gonna have word searches, we're gonna have Sudoku puzzles. We're also gonna throw some coloring pages in there and I'm gonna show you where you can get some of that cool coloring pages PLR, right? So here we go. As you can see right here, we're gonna open those and you'll see the puzzle set right there. Inside of the puzzle set, We've got to download the Sudoku puzzles. And that's downloading right there. So that should be Sudoku puzzles. And there's your puzzle files. There's your word search. And then you go back and you're going to see your Sudoku right there. So there's your Sudoku. There's your word search. Okay. <clears throat> so what we're going to do next is, is we're going to take a look at some explore coloring book pages so this is plr for coloring book pages now this is going to come down you're going to download these as you can see you'll go to the website and of course there'll be a link in the description to get over to this and you can head over here and you can check out these coloring pages and what i've done is i've gone ahead and i've downloaded one of these and uh, this is one right here that you'll get so as you can see this is an example here, of course, a little pig and then a bunch of other cool stuff going on to color. This is pretty complex. They have some that aren't as complex, depending on your needs. So now, as you can see, we have all that inside of PDFs. We have, we created our, our title page. We created a maze. Uh, now we have a coloring page. We have Sudoku's and we have word searches. And we're gonna put all these into one book. So we need a tool that can work with PDFs. So a link in the description will be a link to I Love PDF. And inside of PDF, what you have right here is you have the ability to merge, split, and organize PDFs. So what we're gonna do here is we're going to merge PDF and we're going to select some PDFs. So we're gonna select all the PDFs that we just did and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna grab the Sudoku and we're gonna open that up. And then we're going to add some more files. We're going to go back and we're going to add the word search. Those are the answers. We're going to open the word search. And of course, we need our maze and our title page that we made right there. And then we need our coloring page. So we're going to go and we're going to grab our coloring page out of PLR coloring book that we downloaded that we have full rights to to add to our book because we purchased that as well. And then we are going to merge that all into one big PDF puzzle book and we're going to download that merged PDF and you're going to see it's going to think about that. It's going to take about a minute. So while we're doing that, uh, we'll go ahead and we will look at Puzzle Maze Crazy Puzzle Book Mastery. As you can see here inside, you have all these puzzle types. Of course, you have to upload those. Uh, all the training here. Uh, and of course, you can get the Master Edition. 
and then simply maze crazy to make sure you understand that you have to gen you can generate your mazes right there inside of simply maze crazy and then of course this is where you get your PLR and of course we created our title page and then of course our maze so that PDF was created inside of Google Docs so these are all the things that we need we're gonna be using Google Docs but we're gonna need these other things to create our puzzles and as you can see right there I love PDF merge came down and you can see but you see how the Sudoku puzzles are there you have your coloring pages you have your maze right there it's all in one book with your word searches but the problem is is maybe we want to change up the order so what do we do we go back to I love PDF and we go to all PDF tool and we go to organize PDF and then we select that PDF and then once we select that PDF right there the one that we just created we are going to go back into downloads I love PDF merged one so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna have the ability to move these pages around so for example our main page we want to move that up to number one so we're going to keep dragging that up until we get it up to page number one get that up to page number one then of course solve the maze we're going to bring that up a few pages and just because we want the right after the puzzle book then of course you can move this up above the answers and then you have your coloring pages right there after the Sudoku puzzle then of course you could move up a word search here so you could you can see the power of this and I'm not going to drag this on much more I just want to kind of organize this a little bit so now you can see that we have our title page we have a Sudoku puzzle a maze another Sudoku puzzle a couple of that right a coloring page so what we've done here real quick and of course you would organize this and make this a lot prettier before you actually sold it but we're going to go ahead and we're going to organize that that's going to think about organizing organizing that and then that's going to download and then once it's download downloaded of course that's going to take another minute so we'll go ahead and we'll wrap this up this niche like i said at the beginning i just love this niche it's very easy to be able to focus on low content publishing and of course puzzle books inside of low content publishing sell these as printables on your own website you could put them up on Etsy uh, you could create some of these and you could even publish them on Kindle under you know create a nice cover for them and do all that kind of stuff and you could create an entire puzzle book right here that just downloaded this now it's inside this nice PDF your very own puzzle activity book got your cover page your first puzzle is Sudoku puzzle then you have a maze then you go into another Sudoku puzzle there then there you have a coloring page and then you have a word search as you can see the power of this to create it with these tools that we just covered so if you don't have word on your PC if you don't have a Mac and you don't have access to Keynote say you're on a Chromebook or say you go to the public library where they don't have those tools but you have access to the internet here you go docs.google.com Simply Maze Crazy to create your mazes, Puzzle Book Mastery to create all these different puzzles, grab some coloring PLR, go to ilovepdf.com, or reorganize all your PDFs, and that's it. You are literally in business. You are in the low content publishing business. You are creating puzzle books and activity books that you can sell today, starting right now. All right. So, again, this is Gary Baker with 30minutemarketing.net. And we've been looking and creating our very own puzzle book right there. Your very own puzzle and activity book. That simple. All right. So check, all, check it all out in the description, all the links to everything that I just covered here. If this video was helpful, give me a thumbs up. If it wasn't helpful, thumbs down. Let me know in the comments, good, bad, and different. Just tell me what you're doing. Tell me if you really like this niche as much as I do. And let's get going. All right. 30minutemarketing.net, Gary Baker. It's not about faster, it's about focus. All right? So get focused. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.